Super Bowl, we're trying to ditch days around here. Stay tuned for this week's recap of Days of Our Lives, starting now. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Why, hello, all of you Days of Our Lives fans. Welcome to After Buzz TV's Dishin' Days, where we give you a full recap of this week's episodes of Days of Our Lives. I'm your host, Tony Moore, and it looks like it's just me. All by, oh, wait. Hello! <laughs> Why, sir? Who could you be? Hi, I'm Mark T. Freeman. Uh, I dropped something on the floor, sorry. Did you? Were Where you I had to, to hide Billy? my... Were you trying to find Billy Flynn? I had to hide, hide my Super Bowl beer bottle. <laughs> that was so funny. I had to pour it in an after buzz cup. <laughs> Cheers. Happy Classy Super Bowl. Classy lady. I'm Classy. cheering for the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, they're not in the Super Bowl. So, oh. And they never will be. Are you talking about the baseball game that's happening today? Baseball, yep. You know what? I heard that uh, Lady Gaga is performing in Houston during uh, a live football game today. <laughs> yes, she is. So, She's doing a concert. Yeah. She's doing a short little concert. I'm very Houston. excited about that. Yeah, I'm yeah very and then excited there's some, about that. some guys are going to run around the field after and before. Oh, and make baskets. Yeah. Got right. it. Right. Got it. Weaving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thank you everyone for joining us on this Super Sunday. Um, shout out to Matthew Evan Payne, who uh, is not here today. So shout out to you wherever you are. Wherever I, you may be. I hope you are being your super duper dapper self. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you like us, follow us on all social media platforms. We are on Twitter at underscore Dish and Days and on Facebook and Instagram, Dish and Days. Um, also, you know who gave you the beer, by the way? Who? Lucretia. Oh, well, that girl. That girl. That girl. That girl. girl. And if you know Lucretia, you know that she's one of the co-hosts of GH Report, which is followed right after our show. <laughs> See how I led you into that? <laughs> and that Toss I that right up there. Boop. In, in volleyball, that would be a set. <laughs> and spike. <laughs> look at you. Oh, look at you. Uh -huh. I play I, my beach volleyball every Monday. I play beach, beach volleyball. I thought you just watch beach volleyball. No, 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 girl. I play. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's the only it, exercise I get. Is this, is this happening tomorrow? Besides chasing Billy No, Flynn? not tomorrow, because there's rain. I, next time this happens, please let me know. There, I Facebook it all the time. I'm going to be front row and center with popcorn. Girl, try and return my serve. Ah! ah and what? speaking of girls, we have our hey. favorite girl in the booth. We have Miss Alexis. Alexis. Hey, girl, hi. Hey, I missed everybody. I, I know. know. Well, we have to change Back at our regular time. Because somebody... Jeff. Well, well, because I'm... He's a working girl. I'm a working gal. Listen, gal. just because it gets darker earlier, he has to go to his street <laughs> corner earlier. So he needs to prep <laughs> to, like, you know... Rude! Hey, I just thought that you got your exercise by chasing Billy Flynn around. Well, that so. too. That girl, too. girl, talk about cardio. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so... Um, also, Hi, Demo. Love you. Demo Katabi. Demo Katabi, hello. He says hello, Tony, Mark. Tony and Mark. Um, nice also, entrance, Mark. Thank you. If you guys are on iTunes and listening to us, make sure you, you like us and give us five stars on there. And write yeah. a little review because Mark checks them out all the time. I do. And a lot of times, nine times out of ten, they're the fan of the week. Yeah, that's true. So, so if you want to be fan of the week. Just a little contender And there. title it, Girl! Girl! <laughs> <laughs> Guess what two, no. this week is? Hold on. This week coming up or what just passed? Coming up. This week, oh yeah, 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 yeah! I know what the, I know what it is. What is it? It is our 14 year anniversary. <laughs> it feels like feels 14 like... <laughs> years, doesn't it? We are celebrating our two year anniversary on February 8th. Yay! Yay. I can't believe it's been two years. Already. I know. I know. Can right? you believe that? So, and I look younger. Yeah, no, I was gonna say you look like a day <laughs> over one. <laughs> we need to find. You know what, Alexis? You need to pull up a still of episode one to see my flat oh, hair because I didn't have my. My hair was flat. Remember the first episode? Oh, I you had flat that hair? We're, yeah. Because we I was sure growing it out, and and I did the first episode, and then I was like, okay, I can't do this anymore. And, and I and I cut up. it, and now it's and girl, it's as high. gorgeous as it is. And I even have hair now. Yeah. Um, so so to be like me. Whatever. We're celebrating next week, and and for those of you that listen to this and don't watch, he will never have as big of hair as I do. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. I could if I want to, though. Mm -hmm. A little quick weave. 
Snatch it up. Mm-hmm. Um, next week we have James Lott Jr. James joining Lott Jr. Us, uh, for our anniversary show on February 12th. So make sure you guys. He might be out that. there right now. He's going to be a GH report uh, after this, isn't he? I don't think he's out here yet. Probably oh, okay. in a bit. But uh, yeah. but yeah, no, I can't. We well, didn't hear the that cackle. He was on here. Yeah, yeah, we'll hear the cackle at some point. Yeah, yeah. his ears will be hurting. So don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the JL, JLJ <laughs> imitation. All right. So uh, what did you think about this week of days? Um. Uh, I know that's how I felt too. I, I think I think there I, was, my tweet said it all. I think there was one day where I, I don't even think I really paid attention. I, I not that not, not that it was bad. It's just that like sometimes you're kind of giving the information again and again and again. It's, re- it's too repetitive again. Yeah, yeah. Oh look, it's our first show. Oh my god. Look, see, look, look at, at how... that flat hair. Flat and oh, Peter. Shout out to Peter. Aww, we should Who's see what he's doing. Hold on, Sunday. I'm gonna put it up so people can see it in just a second. Okay, okay. cool. There it is. Okay. Now it's up. Uh, well, so no, this, it's, it's of Tony's beautiful face at the moment. Thank I you. Need to bring it back just a little bit so that so I can see So this was our first show. And look at those faces! Look at that. Oh my gosh! Such a little yeah. This was um yeah February second through the sixth, twenty fifteen. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What did I have there? What was I? Sh- oh, that's where you brought us those, those things from the, the from the from the event, event that yeah. I hosted. Yeah, that's right. And it was our first show. Look at how much hair you've grown too, Tony. I know, oh, right? Wow. It's a lot of hair. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. Two thousand fifteen. And I was your engineer back then too. You yeah, were. you were. I yeah, you that. were. You and Stephen would help. Yeah. Stephen would jump in sometimes. Yeah. Remember the episode. When Stephen kept putting <laughs> kept the words hashtags in of everything, that was my favorite episode. It was that so was funny. funny. It was so much fun. I'll that have to find fun. out which. I'll have to look through them and see if I can find it because it was really funny. Well, yeah. it sounds like next week we're going to be pulling up our favorite episodes at some point in time. Oh, so uh, why don't you just queue up uh, Billy Flynn's no, episode? No, <laughs> no, that's okay. All right, so, both of them. So before we get too long with it, winded, uh, let's uh, dive right into it. It's now time to start. Dishin days. Dishin days. <laughs> oh, you just didn't it. want to say it. I let you do it on your own, and I flipped it, said it, and, and forget, forget it. it. Where's Billy's signature? Oh God. Give me, give me, give me. I think he's on the bottom here. Yeah. So yeah, so right these there. are our lives. What are we talking be. about? Right. Okay. So this week. Oh. Okay. So this. Is that in the way? I don't know. Let's get it in my shot. I'm it's well. Go. It's in my shot. This whore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Oh, uh, I just lost the feed. This week, what else is new? <laughs> this week, uh, we have the war between the uh, Demiracus, Kiriakis, and Hernandez. Hernandez and Demira. And, all right, so, okay, let's walk through this step by step, shall we? Well, I'm, okay. Go ahead. So. You do the walking. Okay, so. I'll do the following. Uh, there is a shipment coming in for Titan. I didn't know what you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> There's a shipment coming in for Titan uh, that is at the dock. Dock 29, I believe, or 27. Well, it got moved. It started it at one move, and then it moved. And they moved to the other. Um, it is a special shipment and it uh, contains the key. We need the key for the hard drive. The key is the element for the key. The key, we need the key. Who's got the key? The key is stolen. The key got the key. The key. Key, key. Keys, 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 keys. <laughs> on the <ice. laughs> um, For those of that's... you that don't live in Southern California, <laughs> there is a Keys Automotive on Van Nuys. <laughs> that, that's about as many times as Damos mentioned that freaking key. key. I knew. I knew as soon as they started saying key so much yeah. that it wasn't an actual key. Oh, I didn't catch on to that at uh, all. I knew immediately. As soon as it started getting like out of control, like, we got to find the key. We got to find the key. And then when Jennifer was... <laughs> was almost my quote of the week when she was like, I know what a key looks like. <laughs> it was that kind of about then that I was like, yes. okay, it's not a key. You know what I mean? Like it yes. was too in your face about well, it. Well, the key ended up being Drew Donovan. Which who, I don't ever remember. Okay, so I looked it up because we, I knew that I, we weren't going to have James Law Jr. here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he was a character just for a year. Uh, Charles Shaughnessy played him, obviously. Um, as he's playing him now, and um, he was the twin of Shane. Um, basically, did everything Shane did. He was an ISA ISA agent as well, uh, but he also worked for Stefano. Oh, okay. Um, and he tried to kidnap Carrie at one point, um, and then he ran off. Tried to kidnap Carrie. Mm-hmm. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah so i mean that's just a i mean it's 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 literally just a little bit about this character um but it's interesting that they brought him back uh for this particular thing and um he's the one that created the hard drive uh orwell yes which okay (laughs) so i finally got an explanation (laughs) about um about this hard drive which is just a listening device that allows you to listen to anyone anywhere which they can do now anyway on your cell phone so Whatever. Well, in Salem, this is like new technology. Anyway, maybe it's just getting to Salem. Um, your thoughts on this? Because I'm just kind of like, and th- now there's so many people involved. So now you have JJ and Lonnie who have been assigned the case. Mm-hmm. You have Gabby and Abigail who are trying to get the hard drive and destroy it to bring the families back together because an all-out war is about to start. You have Jennifer. And kind of Adrian, who's dealing with a cancer, but all and now Anne and Drew, and Drew. Well, they're dealing with it from the spectator point of view, trying right. to uncover the story. Now you unlock Drew, who's the key, who's the person who invented or- Orwell. Which every time they say Orwell, I think Orwellville, which makes me think popcorn. Right. Did you want me to get you some? Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so there's so many parts to this to the story, and everyone's just kind of like coming together to like. Make it happen. And then, to top it all off, Deimos poisoned Andre and beat up Dario. Well, not personally, but... Right, but got there. his yeah. his men to do it in such a classical way. As he, I just, as he played the piano, everything... And how did... And see, so here's dramatic. the thing I was thinking about. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. Um, with the candles lit. Yes. And the yes. Lot two candles. Because yes, because there were two, two people. people. I get it, Days. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Um, I was going to say something about this. I just don't... I don't know. Oh, so what... Okay, so they have... So it went from needing these chips... Yes. ...to need getting the hard drive. So are the chips in the hard drive? Yes. Is that what making up the hard drive? Uh, yes. I'm, I'm going to say yes, final answer. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Like, the microchips are essential for the Orwell... To work, I guess. Yeah. Which, yeah, I don't know. And, like, I just feel like it went from microchip, microchip, hard drive. Like, it just shifted. I don't know. I don't really care about it. I care about it as much as I care about hope. Oh, boy. And that's not at all. That's not... Um, <laughs> although, I... <laughs> there was a very funny scene when... when uh, Jennifer decided to go to the dock after Adrian overheard uh, oh. the Kiriakis men talking about the shipment coming in. Mm-hmm. And, you know, good old Jennifer rushed home, found her black hat, and headed to the docks. <laughs> and then once she got caught, she turned into the crazy woman and was like, do you know what it's like to have Bobby running around on me and all I do is make his favorite chicken? Yeah. And And I'm like, girl. And he was even like, Oh, girl, I hate it for Bobby. Well, I, 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 I don't know if you saw my tweet. I tweeted it out earlier. The best part of this week, hands down, was Jennifer and Drew. Yeah. I inter- mean, it was the most entertaining. Their interaction Billy together excluded, was great. Of course. Oh, my God. Their interaction together was great. And the fact that um, he's obviously so in love with his wife, uh, Camille? La? Camilla? Camilla. Camilla. Because I remember, thought Camilla Parker Bowles mm-hmm. was my first thought. Um, and... Um, he he's easily distracted um, when it comes to her, and yeah. So he's and now he's trying to develop an ant, a, a virus to kill it. His creation, right? In the chat, let us know how you think about. I don't this have it up, so line. you'll have to tell us what I you're will. saying because I don't have. Um, Are you connected? Yeah. Um, Diane Lee says it was nice to see. Refresh uh, mark. Uh, it was nice to see Charlie and Melissa sharing scenes. Um, I just love Missy Reeves, and I think she's just so much fun. Yes, I think I'm, she's I'm glad great. That, I'm glad they're giving her more. <clears throat> Josephina says Deimos is just losing it, and honestly, I just do not care because Deimos. Oh my God, don't get me started. I know. Um, I'm, I saw a lot of those before I went under. Yeah. Uh, oh here, okay, it's coming back up. I liked when Demos wanted the key and Gabby slammed the house key on <laughs> the table. Oh yeah, um, 
Oh, we forgot to mention that. So, um, oh my God, see so many moving parts. Well, and I feel like I, I feel like this week. I know we have this all broken up how we normally do it. Yeah. But I really feel this week was really intertwined. It was very. So it's intertwined. hard to separate all the storylines because yeah. they're they all seem to be really overlapping. Well, they all overlap into this one storyline because. You know, Gabby and Abigail are involved, and they did the whole thing with stealing Sonny's keys, getting a copy so they they can sneak into the mansion. Gabby snuck into the mansion, um, found the safe, thanks to little Ari, who saw Sonny put the hard drive in the safe. And Gabby asked Ari, like, is there a safe? And she's like, "Mm mm-hmm. Well, I knew as soon as Gabby or Ari walked, she walked in, she yeah, was going to be a part that of that it. That was going to be yeah. Um, Gabby got caught by Chad. Chad and her Who? then Chad and her then <laughs> had to run into the closet to hide from Damos, who then held them at gunpoint and now is holding them in a storage room, which is very similar. One they captured before in another mansion together. Who? Uh, Chad and Gabby. That's how oh. they rekindled their love for each other. Was in the little. Um, yeah, panic room. <clears throat> but I don't know. This is at it was, the. It was the panic room in the in the Demira. Gear, in the Demera mansion. I right. think it was in the Demera mansion. This is right. now the, the Kiriakis panic room, which looks very similar. similar. Except they have shelves. I think different shelving. Yeah, it's different. It's IKEA, not Kmart. Right. And so, who has <laughs> IKEA? Who has Kmart? Uh, Demera's. I have IKEA. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> And Gabby dropped the necklace on the floor to so that whoever came would know. Yeah, that and he, and and then JJ comes and I, I mean, there's just a lot. There's a, there's there's so many people involved in the storyline now. Yeah, and for all different reasons. And I did see somebody um, tweeted something which I thought was interesting, and I'm curious to see uh, hear your opinion on it. Maybe you saw the tweet. Uh, somebody said something they were they really liked seeing Jennifer with Lieutenant Rain. And they thought that would be an interesting pairing. Because remember they had that, that scene. Yeah. Remember that scene they had together? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. No? You're not feeling Lieutenant Reigns and Jennifer Horton? You know what I am feeling? Billy Flynn. The interaction between Jennifer and Eric. Oh yeah. How he just kind of walked but up. But I on think her. that I do think that he's back for Nicole. Like, I, I, I just can't imagine that they did I don't know. The fact that he was willing to reveal himself to Jennifer, I think, speaks more volumes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I mean, Nicole's got a lot going on. Yeah, way too much going on. Um, and that's a, a whole other reveal. Yeah. Um, that's going to take two weeks. See, April... Oh, no, I'm already... I'm still up. I mean, I just, I don't know. I guess I just don't care. Clearly I mean, you it's don't, interesting. Because I'm just talking about it I'm, and you're I'm, quiet as a mouse. Well, I just don't, I, yeah, I just, I don't know. Why? I, 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 I like the, and I've said this. I said this last week and I think I've tweeted it. I like that it's the young generation of these families that are doing the bulk of it, that they're the main driving force of the storyline. Um, I don't necessarily like the storyline. I'm just kind of not interested. I don't care about this chip. I don't care about the stupid Orwell. Um, but I get it. Like it's, I, and I, and I. That's why I'm curious. Like, is was the idea that to create the storyline to bring all these people together to have this? But it's just I don't know. Like when you think about like Aramid mm-hmm. and stuff like that, that were just amazing storylines. I don't care about an Orwell. Well, then there's that. Moving on. Okay. Next. What's next? Um, next is, oh, Chloe and um, her and baby Nicole. thieving and breastfeeding. <coughs> is anyone else getting annoyed with Chloe and yes. how she's very protective over this baby? Oh, I feel like it, I, so annoying. Okay. Okay. I think in the beginning I was annoyed. Uh, but then, no. Towards the end I was annoyed. But the beginning of this week, she actually made sense to me, and I was like, maybe you are doing the baby, uh, a b- right. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't yeah. think of the word. Right. Because when she started listing all of the things that Nicole is currently going through, it's kind of like, 
you can't be a mom right now. Like, you just went and shanked a guy that tried to kill your fiance who is on a tyrant right now mm-hmm. trying to kill other people and talk about, you know, and, you know, this baby shouldn't be brought up in an environment like that. Like, this should honestly be a very happy moment. And if this were you and Daniel, it would be. But it's you and Damos. And, like, I don't trust it. Like none of you are in a state to I just really think, bring this baby and, and I to get that, world. and that's fine. I think the breastfeeding thing is a little creepy. Um, I think this, and like if it, and like on Friday, even she was, she kept making these comments about how much closer she was getting to Holly and this and that, and it was like I really truly hope that if Nicole leaves Deimos, she gives her that freaking baby, and she does not turn this into a trial. And we drag out Nicole getting this baby yes. for five more months. Right. Because I literally, I, I'm just, I mean, I will do what I do with hope. I will fast forward through it. And I won't have anything to say when I come. Do and I will take a leave of absence from Dish and Days. She's so dramatic. <laughs> I, I can't even. My, my evens can't. <laughs> so dramatic. Um... Did you think that when she, when Chloe um, went no. to, <laughs> when she summoned the policeman, I thought she was gonna say, "I'm gonna hand this woman this baby. Will you just watch her?" Yeah, 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 yeah. And instead, she went. She's harassing, harassing me. me, and I'm like, and that's what makes. And I mean, Nicole is real hood right now. Like she can turn ratchet real quick. Yeah. Um. And it looks like she just wanted to slap the dogs, yeah, out of Chloe at that moment. Well, and you know, and just the whole conversation that that Nicole had with Justin too, where Justin was like, um, "Just you know, you need to stay calm, and you need to be the bigger person." And I'm like, "But that's her baby. Like, there's such a history with Nicole. She lost a baby. Like, she's wanted to be a mom so bad, and now she is, and." This bitch won't give her her baby. I just... Uh, yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. Like, the, like what I... Uh, I like the fact that Nicole has a baby. I like the fact that Chloe went and tried to give her this gift. Mm-hmm. What I don't like is the demise of a friendship that took so long to really build... Because Chloe and her were at odds before, and they got to a really good place. And now we're seeing that destroyed all over again. And I'm not liking the prolonging oh. of the baby. I, this is the other thing that really is starting to annoy me. And they're doing it a lot. What's that? Was when... <clears throat> they, when the, and I get it. It's a soap. And it's like, okay, let's tease them. Then let's do this. Let's do, that whole thing, when Nicole comes in, and she's just like... You're crazy. Uh, da, 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 da. Commercial break. Come back. Okay, you're not really crazy, girl. I'm your friend. We're fr- you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of that lately. Like, yeah. where it's like, it, because it's a commercial break, they want you to think, oh, she's going to scream at her. But then they come back from the commercial break. and I mean, it's just so like. It was like, let her have her moment. Ah, oh, I don't know. I'm just getting so annoyed with that. Like, come on. I just, I don't know. I don't care. Oh my gosh. This is, this is starting to be This is going to be like the depressing days of our lives review. Right? It's Sorry, just, guys. It's just a moment of like, I don't know. Maybe Matthew Evan Payne likes it and he's going to come back and tell us that we're crazy. Maybe. I don't know. But. Oh, and let's. The sh- battle, the battle is going to continue between them. It looks like it's probably going to go to court and it's going to be a big thing. It's going to get drawn out. Brady tried his best to mediate and. And they're definitely leaning towards a Brady Nicole pairing. I think so because there was that moment when Damos walked Two in moments. and saw. Yeah, there was and, that. And he, and he even said something to Brady, and I don't know any, if anyone picked up on it, but he was like, let me worry about Nicole. Yeah. Well, and then later he was sitting on the couch, remember, and there was that shot. And it was Nicole and Brady, I think, holding hands or something, and you could see him through them. And he was like looking at him like, "Yeah, what you, what you two doing? What you so doing?" So that's clearly going to be a thing. A thing. Um, and then maybe Eric too. So we'll see. I guess. All we'll right. see. Well, well, let's move on to the next um, annoying storyline. All right. Well, <laughs> this one's quicker. Uh, Remember so, when we were so excited and things were going so well, <laughs> and we were happy. 
I think remember that, those days I, of I, our I, lives? I think we're I think we're just at a moment where like something needs to happen and something needs to go down. Yeah. And you know, I I think they're just I just like I was even think I actually thought this on the way here. Literally. I was like, why don't they bring in and we hope maybe we can ask somebody this one day. Um, why don't they bring in like a murder mystery novelist as a writer for the show? Like to create a really good like murder oh, like mystery storyline oh. or something. You know what I mean? Like, yes. and I like, and I don't. Again, I don't know how the writing world in Hollywood works. I mean, I I'm assuming it sounds to me like. You write for days, then you move over to General Hospital, then you move to Young and the Restless, and then you're a writer, then you're not a head writer, but you're a sub writer, and then you're so it's a, a little world, consultant. and they're you're in this little world yeah. of writers, and they just kind of rotate, and they all kind of do the same thing, and they're regurgitating storylines and stuff like that. Like, doesn't anybody stop and go? And again, I'm not putting down the people that are writers. I know it's hard work and it's hard to do, yeah. but it's like, is there nobody that just wants to sit down and go? You know, let's just get some fresh eyes in here. Let's get some fresh story. Let's get something new. Let's do something that no one else has ever done before. Yes. Like ah, that's what I want. And I and again, I'm and, and and I do get, you know, comments and stuff at me that I'm so negative and why do I do the show and blah blah. blah. Again, and I've said it before. It's because I do like the show and yes. I love the characters and I love the families and I love Billy Flynn and I want him to have a good storyline. You just really like Billy Flynn, <laughs> and like, you he was give drifting. A good he was drifting. No, That's how you know me. when he's drifting. No, I no, I heard you. Um, no, and I and I get it. And I think I feel like the people that the fans like the most, the storylines that people like the most, are overlooked. They keep going back to the people that whatever. But you know again, what I mean? I, I and I get it. I get it. I get it. I still think. But, I still think it's because they film so far in advance that. Th they create something and we see something completely different and they can't go and like maybe veer it, veer it in that direction because they're already six months out. Well, I know. Well, I've said that we've all been we've saying all that, that for a long time. Yeah. And it's not changing. Even though they said they were getting get it down to a month or two or something like that. It's still not happening. Mm, we'll see. So, and Ray C says he has his MFA. He could be a, a new writer, and I'm I'm down with Ray C. As long as you include hashtag Maxine Sun. Yeah. Okay. Forget it. You're not getting hired. Oh well. If we did hashtag Lorraine. Dave's Flynn. pickup mark as a writer. I agree. I'm not a writer professionally, but I would go sit in the room and throw out ideas. You I know. Got, I got ideas. No. I got ideas. You know what? It would I start with bringing Jack back. Okay, but it would end with more camera time for Billy Flynn. It would. There would be definitely be a a, 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 a confrontation between Jack and Billy for shizzle, for shizzle pizzle, um, and who else? Oh, um, I would definitely bring back um, Calliope. Calliope. I right, so get rid of Anne and bring that. back Calliope. Yes. Um, more more. Um, Brian Dottillo oh, for, for Shizzle. Sure. For yeah. Shizzle. Um, and I'd get him a good girl, like a good star. Maybe even a triangle for him. Just like that yeah. triangle yeah. hand <laughs> movement. Um, I got it. I got this down. We'll bring back Will. We'll do the. Oh, uh, you, oh you're going to bring back Will? Uh, it's gonna, he was a counterfeit. There's a, the real Will's out there. He's been tied up and all that stuff. But we got to wait till Sonny and Christopher. Are together and like remarried, and then you got to bring him in. You know, you can always create fan fiction. I could. Fans like that. Can you imagine if if we did it? Not not like write the fan fiction like you, where you can read it, but we actually did like scenes and storylines. Let's <laughs> do it. So funny. I'll marry Billy, just for the for the sake of the show, of course. Oh my God. All right, so anywho, uh, so there was Lorraine that. So, Flynn. <laughs> so now, thank you, our Melvin fan. Oh, thank you, Robin Tate, for saying bring Melanie back. Oh, who said that? Robin Tate. Oh. All right, so let's get to Prague. So really quick, what's happening in Prague? The gang is all together. Marlena's gonna throw herself okay. into the. Mar wait, wait. Marlena's gonna throw herself into the trenches. And what's the thing that they think is gonna lure uh, Mr. Demera there? 
Marlena. Marlena at a music festival invite only masquerade ball, which apparently we saw that one his alias Rodolfo Marotti. I, I think don't that's know. what it is. I kind of um, got his invitation for the masquerade ball. Is it the Phoenix? Okay, here's my rising? question. And I did I ask this last week? Is it Was the Phoenix the... rising? Is it the Phoenix rising? Is that supposed to be a Phoenix? Is it the Phoenix rising? We need shadow. Are we doing shadow puppets now? I just thought that would be a great Phoenix. Mm, interesting. Is it the Phoenix <laughs> rising? It's like a butterfly. Is it the Phoenix rising? <laughs> I hate to watch this back. I, I know. And think what people think. <laughs> um, uh, now I completely forgot what I was going to say because you've been. Sorry. Doing finger puppets. <laughs> um, 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 um. Oh, this is what I wanted to ask. And in, cor- I'm sorry if I said this last week. Is it? Did where did does Marlena just carry a chess piece in her purse? Like, where did that? Like when she pulled it, I was like, Are, what? Did you just? You're like, oh, I'm gonna pack for Prague. Oh, let me give that queen off my chessboard. You remember, it's the chest that they found, the chess piece that they found in the safe deposit box. Oh, okay, that's what yes. somebody else said. Okay, yes. I wasn't sure yes. because I was just like, girl, 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 no. Um, I think it's. I mean, again, I and I said this before. I'm happy that they're getting it to Marlena and Stefano. Yes. Because that's, in my opinion, and I get... The queen of the night. Yes. I get that Hope had her thing with Stefano, too. But I still feel like Marlena and Stefano are literally the... Like, they, that was the crux of the whole Demira Brady because it was thing. Because it, it was an infatuation. I said crux. Yeah, you did. It was an infatuation with mm-hmm. this woman. Whereas right. Princess Gina was just like, his, they worked together. So my hope is that... Your who? My hope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hashtag hope. Um, <laughs> is Emma that... Rudd said that the Phoenix Rising should be a part of my reel. <laughs> <laughs> Emma. Um, that... He is actually still alive, and that Marlene actually gets to kill him now, the way it should be. Or they all kill him. They kind of all kind of go in and... And burn him at the stake? Something like that. I mean, I'd be okay with it. So... Do we know if John's coming back anytime soon? I mean, I knew he was well, injured and all that stuff, yeah, and that's but why they, he's not on camera. They nixed it. They, like, she was like, don't call John. Because yeah. John is going to want to be here, and just don't do it. Mm-hmm. Paul was like, I'm calling Dad. Yeah. And she was like, no, don't do it. Um... The now this masquerade ball has piqued my interest, but I want the masquerade ball to start on Monday. Like I don't want it to be next Friday is when the masquerade ball starts. I want oh, it to start luck. on Monday, and I good want, luck. I, I kind of want this to be wrapped up by next. It's week. It's not gonna be. I don't know when. Again, I don't know where this. Like, remember that? Remember the Speedy Gonzalez storylines that were like boom, 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 boom. That's what I miss. That's what I miss. That's what I want back. I don't know. All right, can we get this next one over with too? Because I just I'm sure. Done. What is it? Hope. Oh. I honestly, I, I, you're going to have to talk about it because I don't really know what happened. The only thing that happened was that she she was delusional and left the house, thinking yes. that Sierra was calling her, saying that she needs help, and that's when the police were in that same area. Right. And Sean was trying to like find her before. Um, she got found and um, shot. Yeah, because it was shoot to kill. Meanwhile, cut to uni- University Hospital where Eric is stealing drugs for Hope. Right. Um, and I'm like, girl, you just got out of jail. Like, yeah. keep it cute. Um, runs into Jennifer, um, and then um, he finds Hope before uh, the police do, and that's it. Yeah. Done with Hope. She's still recovering. None of this would have happened if she had stayed in the hospital and took care of the shank wound because that's what's affecting her right now is the fact that she didn't allow herself to heal. Not the rock. Oh, sorry, the rock too. <laughs> Don't forget. But I think the shank is what got her. All right, anyway. Uh, next. So next. Uh, Alexis, you might want to get that uh, photo ready. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. As we go into this next storyline, we must pause for this moment in time with Mr. Kyler Pettis. Is the picture up? Yep. Yes. 
I mean, who knew that Kyler Pettis was giving you body yaddy yaddy underneath all of that? He's your Billy Flynn, isn't he? He's your new crush. I am. Are you going to be like a giddy schoolgirl when he comes on audition days? No. Yeah, you will. You're going to be like, Mark, you're lead hosting. I'm going to sit next to him. I know. That's what's going to happen. No, but listen, it was, a, it was a you're great. Like, Kyler, sit on my lap. It was a great moment. <laughs> if you're in the chat, let, let us know how you felt about the, ooh, just got back home from the gym, didn't know anyone was here, thought I was by myself, just hearing my towel moment. And that towel was long. That was a skirt. That was the longest towel I've ever seen. That was a skirt. Yeah. I need them to hype that up a little bit, but <laughs> that was a great moment, though. Kudos to Kyler. I froze Pettis. up again, so you're gonna have to look in the chat room. I don't. I don't. Kudos notice. to Kyler for that. Uh, they say Kyler is adorbs. Theo half naked, yummy. Oh my God, I said the same thing, Tony. Kyler Pettis is killing me. That scene happened, and I think we all went hello. Yep. <laughs> And then Aaron Brody inserted with, we all hate hope. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Daquan says, finally, Tony has someone. Who's going to fight Tony for Kyler Pettis? It is okay, listen. Before things get out of hand, I am only in mere appreciation of the moment in time that Kyler Pettis gave us with no shirt. I am in no way infatuated with Kyler Pettis, such as a Mark with Billy Flynn or such as a Matthew Evan Payne with Greg Vaughn. I have always and will forever be neutral. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> Lies, ladies and gentlemen, here on Dish and Days. All right, so the, the triangle between Theo and, C and Sierra and Claire kind of continues. Yep. When Theo was shirtless, he embraced Sierra because she had just found out that mm -hmm. uh, they can use excessive force on Hope, which I'm pretty sure you cheered for that because you were yep. probably like, let me be at the front of the firing range this to do is that. This I could use. Uh, could you imagine if they cast me as the person that shot Hope? <laughs> I would. Oh, my God. I would. Gotcha. Oh, my God. You know what? Side note. I did have a dream that the three of us were on, on Days of Our Lives. Really? Yes. They used us as reporters. Oh. Well, that would mean it would be apropos. Yeah. And, like, and so. I said apropos. And it was like, and each one of us had a line. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So they split the under five between the between the three of us. <laughs> yeah, like it was like it was a special moment. Like was they, it me or Lorraine? It, no, it was you. Oh, okay. It was you, and we all looked. I great. mean, I'm always Lorraine in heart. Yes, you are. But I but I thought that was such a fun moment. Like it was like a press conference and something was happening, and we were just like so da 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 da, and then Matthew and da da da, and then I went so da 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 da. Like it was fun. You literally said da 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 da. That, I mean, as I, I would hope as a reporter that you said more than that. Oh my God! Just kill my dream. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we do have someone for Kyler. Uh, I'm still Demo trying says, to refresh. Kyler is mine. So there's that. Oh, here we go. All right, I'm so back. I'm the, tri back. the triangle. Um, Theo consoled. Wait, what is this incest? They do. They do. It's weird. Like I said, it's a good thing. Paulson, Kiss are so boring as them, or I will be screaming incest, incest. Wait, who is that in refer to, referring to? Daquan said that. It may be or it may be higher up on yours because mine just refreshed. Yeah. Oh, let me so see. I may be higher up. They oh, here, let me see. I want to slap Claire silly. Wait, where does Daquan's comment prior to that? Dun 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 dun. Daquan says lies, Tony. Then liar, Tony. I'm infatuated. Kyler so sexy. Da 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 da. LOL, Mark. <laughs> Thank you, our Melvin fam. Um, Dishon, Dishon days. Kyler is mine. Oh, I don't know what he meant. Daquan, so what did you mean do. by the incest? It's weird. Like I said, it's a good thing Pulse and Kiss are as boring as them, or I will be screaming incest, incest. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means I'm, either. I'm, so, um, Daquan, Daquan, you're going to have to elaborate on that. Mark is amusing himself with his own vocabulary today. <laughs> It's not every day I use three and four syllable words, True. so I get it very excited. Honorable mentions are Molly Burnett and Chandler Massey and Guy Wilson. Okay, Daquan, you need to specify what you meant by that other comment. What do you think about this Sierra, Theo, Claire triangle? 
Um, I almost, okay, I almost just kind of want to say, all right, Theo, you gave it a shot with Claire, but let's be honest, you belong with Sierra, so right. let's just... Well, but Sierra is the one who ended things with him. So it's not that he didn't, he that he stopped liking her. This is true. She pushed him away. But I don't see... Because of her, because of the rave. I don't see... I don't see cuteness between Claire and Theo anymore. Because no. I think I because I think Sierra is too self involved. I think she's a little jealous. Uh -huh. And um and I think Theo is just Theo is such a sweet character. Before people think I'm trying to refer to Kyler. Um that I don't know. I, I just I just think there's something better between him and Sierra. That's all. All right. Uh Daquan's gonna direct message me. Okay. And tell me what he meant. I don't know if he's going to do it during the show or not, but okay, I we'll got keep my Twitter idea. on just in case. Um, yeah, um, I just I feel like there, need, there I feel like there needs to be another another uh, teen. Like I just feel like we need to get out of this hole. It's it's yeah yeah it's yeah. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Um, so moving right along. We already kind of discussed this. Jennifer finds out that um, Anne is working for the Spectator. The Spectator. Uh, Julie, who before Jen found out was furious with Jennifer about her article with Hope, which I don't understand why. Like, I felt I, like that scene didn't make sense. I agree 100%. Um, 100%. But Jen, but she then tried to convince Jennifer that, like, maybe it's a good thing. Remember, it's Adrian. You know, she has her cancer and da 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 da. And so it seems like all is fine. And there's that. I don't mind Anne working for the spectator. It gives her something. I just hope they utilize Anne a little bit more. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think they're gonna. I think they're doing an Anne Lucas pairing. If the, if you keep her so, around, then do it. Because it sounds like they're gonna. Adrian's going back to Justin. Maybe if she survives. I, you know, for the first time, it just now dawned on me why um, Maxine may not be on the show anymore. Is because they they're not in the hospital as much anymore. No, they're not. Um, and they would have. But I think it would have been great to integrate someone else who's not so connected to them to who oh to, to Jennifer like, and Adrian and well that. just to the Hortons the Brady's the yeah. Demeras you know and not not necessarily build this whole other family I mean they could have added a son which would have been just fine um, but just to have someone else that's just more like an outsider looking in yeah so and and I like the way they they had paired her as like she's just that go to woman just to get advice from and I kind of wish they just kind of kept that yeah you know where she just kind of pops in every now and then mm -hmm. like oh Maxine what do I do like there's always someone who knows everything but doesn't reveal everything right and Maxine could have been that character right and then her son could have came along and been a part of the oh, oh someone just mentioned uh, that they should bring Mimi back. I think that would be interesting to the clan. Interesting. Interesting choice. Like maybe she moves back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they and they bring Philip back and it's just like that oh, whole thing. They need generation. to bring Phil back. I was just watching a clip from something and I saw JPL and I was like, oh, I miss him already. So, I miss him. Oh. Um it says here Soap Opera Soap Opera Digest Days of Our Lives. I don't know who that is. Uh -huh. Um, or if that's really Soap Opera Digest. Uh Jen Lilly will come back to Days of Our Lives, rumor fans talking on this Facebook. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. I don't Interesting. know if that's true. I don't know if that's true either. Same. See, Annie Goen says, Tony, Aloma told me via Twitter that she would be willing to come back. Yep. Yep. Daquan, at Tony, do you audition to be on other shows besides Days of Our Lives? Uh, nope. Didn't you do General Hospital? I did background work on General Hospital. I did. Yeah. Um, I, I've done... Line art? I've B and B. Yeah, I think I've done all of them at some point. But Days has always been Guiding my number light? one. Not that old lady. Girl. 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 Another world? No. Santa Barbara. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I mean, that's been your week of days. That was the week. That was the week. Kind of yeah. uneventful, boring. Blah. There's that. And now. Hi, uh, Duff DeGrasse Beebs. DeGrasse Beebs. Uh, oh. <laughs> um. Okay, anywho, so oh, yeah. let's go into our favorite part, which okay. is the segments, and we will start with my segment, which is Tony's official Three Snaps Award. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have to say my Three Snaps Award came very early this week, 
And it was when Jennifer on Monday's episode was talking to the waitress who <laughs> had, was awesome this week. Who had information about what was happening on the on the docks and and the waitress said I got three words for you. Uh, Shady Ness. Yeah. And then Jen was like, that's, that's one word. word. <laughs> I was like, ah! Somebody, ah, somebody tweeted me saying that should be my quote of the week. Shady Ness. And, that, and that's why I checked with you. I was yeah. like, girl, what you got for Monday? Yeah. And you're yeah. like, no, it happened later. So, <laughs> so that conversation with the wonderful actress who got the under five waitress role, um, who I don't know her name, and Missy Reeves gets... Tony's official three snaps award. Um, we do not have a disaster today as Matthew Evan Payne is not here. He did not send one in. Uh, so we will go right into <laughs> Mark's <laughs> quote of the week. The dramatic pause. I'm sorry, I'm watching the game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. How I'm just you, kidding. How dare I'm you just watch the kidding. Game What's the score? No, no, no. What's the score? Uh, well, it's gone now, so I can't tell you. We're at halftime, actually, so you might miss Gago. Oh, oh shit. Yes. Tony's like, let's get their news and gossip. Gago. Um, all right, my quote of the week I actually left today and was like, oh, shoot, I didn't write it down. But I can, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, I can kind of remember what it was. Right. Um, it was the scene with actually Jennifer and Anne. Because <laughs> I'm sorry, it was the best part of the, of the week. <laughs> Uh, her and Anne and her and uh, Drew were the, the best part of the week. Mm -hmm. um, but it was when Anne was like, I have accident re references. And Jennifer's like, she was like, started to walk away. And she turned back around. She's like, who's your reference? The devil? <laughs> I could not stop laughing. It was just so funny. Like, you knew it was coming. Like, you saw it coming. But it was so funny. And it was so well worth the wait. So, because you were waiting that whole conversation. Because there was, was something, gonna something was going to be said like that. Yeah, so that yeah. was it. And it had, hands down, was whatever shadiness <laughs> that was the hands down quote of the week. So, so that has been. She's watching the game. <laughs> Mark's quote of the week. There's and, a lot of people in this booth right now. It's oh, not I my can, fault. I can imagine. Tell people to get out of that booth. I can imagine. I and can now imagine. it's time for fan of the week. Fan of the week is going to go to actually somebody who posted on my The Mark J. Freeman uh, fan page. Uh, and I apologize. She posted this January 12th, and I just saw it. Um, the, she wrote, this is posted on my group, Days of Our Lives Real Talk by Wendy Sue Klein. I thought there was one, there was no one but you that would truly appreciate it. <laughs> and it's a picture. It's a picture of a tombstone. <laughs> and it says, Daniel Jonas is dead. No, seriously. Like dead, dead. Let it go. <laughs> If you had fun, if you would have fell, I would have died. <laughs> so, uh, Delina Job is who posted that on my wall, and thank you for making my absolute week, and I couldn't agree more. Um, oh my god! If you want to see it, it is on my uh, Mark J. Freeman, the Mark J. Freeman Facebook page. All mm -hmm. right, and now let's get into some news and gossip. gossip. After Buzz TV News. Okay, so some very, very great news. Um, yes. As you guys know, uh, our friend of the show, Miss Cassie DePaiva. We love her! Uh, early, uh, earlier uh, last year, she was diagnosed with um, myeloid leukemia. Uh, yep. Acute myeloid leukemia. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And she had started undergoing treatments and everything like that. On World Cancer Day, which was just the other day, she was happy to announce via Twitter that she is cancer free. Yay! Yay! We are very happy to hear that and very happy that yes. um, she's doing, doing well, well and, and in good spirits. Hopefully, she'll like come that. join us yeah. soon. So, shout out to you, when she's Cassie. In town, yeah. She's in New York. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, shout out to you, Cassie. We love you. We love you. We are very happy for you. We're cheering for you. And Thank God that you are now cancer free. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, Jen Lilly has a new Hallmark movie coming out mm -hmm. uh, February 11th called Dash of Love. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check it out. Check yes. your local listings check for the out. Hallmark channel. We don't local. know what your local listing check is. Local listing. Check that listing. And Mark. 
Yes. What's happening oh, in Toronto? And also, there's another, um, I like to call them Billy Flynn event. Beware, <laughs> there's a storm brewing. Oh, well, shines up. Well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen, Look King who just Jr. popped in. Has entered the building. Chocolate Twinsies. <laughs> <laughs> Dark so, chocolate, white chocolate. Yeah. Let me tell you, James Lott <laughs> James Lott took we'll a share. sabbatical. <laughs> <laughs> When I tell you this Jess Seto has been like traveling the world and said, you know what? I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, I did. We had to put an APB out on James uh-huh. Lott Jr. to find out. We it, did. it started being, where in the world is James Lott Jr.? Jr. <laughs> <laughs> James Lott Jr., how you been? What's going I, I on? Like What's your, the team? I like your hair. Getting, she's trying to, she's trying to I, be like me, girl. I, I see it's getting higher and higher. <laughs> There's a dent in it now from the headphones. Oh, from the headphones. <laughs> but I do like it. Thank Hi, you. you guys out there in Days of Our Lives. I'll be here next week with them. So And yes. in 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, minutes. for uh, GH Report. Yeah, I guess I'll do the show, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> since I'm here, since I'm here, I guess I might as well do it. But I'm excited to be back with my ladies next week. Yeah. I know. Where we're it all so, began. For we're, me. Celebrating the, uh, we're celebrating two years. You're celebrating your two anniversary, years, too, mm-hmm. too mm-hmm. For, with AfterBuzz. It costs, look, it, I started here. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. It's all because I had to take a day off, y'all. You said it. You went to when you take a day off. You went to Australia. You should do it more oh, often. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. So James Lott Jr. You thank know, you. Awkward. You know what? Awkward. You know what? You should too. Maybe then awkward. that way we don't have to talk about Billy Flynn every show. <laughs> Any, <laughs> stick around, James Lott Jr. Okay. You stay right there. Um, so yeah, we're just talking about. There's a new event in Toronto. Um, it is on, do I have it right now? June 3rd, Saturday, June 3rd. Billy Flynn, Eric Martzoff, Rob Wilson. It's a Q&A with the stars, a light lunch, one-on-one meet and greet with the stars, professional photos with the stars, dinner and dancing. Uh, Sabrina is on um, Twitter at Michelluza3, M-I-C-H-E-L-U-Z-Z-A-3. Um, and uh, you can get information about tickets on eventbrite.ca because it's in Canada. So it's not .com, it's .ca. Um, I do oh, believe I retweeted Canada. it. Oh, Canada. Where we're all going to be moving to soon. Oh, I gosh. Also too. I oh, just read, I just JLJ, what do it. it? Um, our girl, Cassie DePaiva, just released her that she's cancer free. Yes, yeah, we talked we about just, that. We just said I, it. I just read that. I was like, so, yeah, we love her. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy for her. I'm yeah. so, so happy for yeah. her. Yeah. I know, because we were, I mean, nervous. yeah, it, you get nervous when stuff like that happens. Yeah. Um, now, back to me. So, you stay right there because you're <laughs> okay. in the shot now. Okay. All right, so, uh, as you guys know, I will be hosting the Dual Coast event uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina on April 22nd. Um, that event will feature Eric Martzoff, Billy Flynn, Mary Beth Evans, Nadia. Bjorland, Stephen Nichols, and Galen Gehring. Um, so make sure you go to dual, that's D U A L, coastevents.com for tickets and information. Mix and mingle. Oh, okay. yes. oh um, and Monday. shout out to Paul and Keith of Starstruck Fan Events. They are currently having their, their event yes. in uh, Atlanta. Mm. And some GH people are there. Donald yeah. Turner is there. Yeah, yeah, Donald Turner is there. Yeah. 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 Did Robert you see Palmer the video Watkins. of him yes. with Christopher Sean? Yes, I did. Yes. Yes. Yep. And, and Rob Palmer Watkins yep. is there. Yes. And Brian Craig is there. So, yes. guys, I've been watching. Watching all the stuff. And yeah. uh, Christopher Sean, uh, Eric Teo, and, and Eric Martel yep. are there. And then uh, there's another guy there from Walking Dead, not yep. my show. Mm. Yeah, like, so, yeah, yeah. but but he's there. So it's like a big like someone from Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah. So it's random. Like a, it's yeah. random. Okay. So it's like a big plethora of stuff. So shout out to everyone who's having a great Stern. time there. Yes, yeah, so if you know Susie Morales Smithley, she's actually been doing tons of Facebook lives and yes. videos. From the oh, is she there? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, great. Well, and speaking of Susie, uh, she will be in town in. In oh. May, oh, okay. and wants to meet up with us, so oh. we're gonna make yeah. that yeah. yeah, yeah. Her and her sister, family are gonna be there. Sister. So Tony's Shout buying to everybody her. dinner. That Lies. Night. <laughs> Lies you tell. I hope y'all still got your Olive Garden. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so she buying that. Oh my God, that's right. Um, <laughs> all right, so that's it. We gotta so, take her something authentic LA, like in and out. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I'm of those everywhere. Sure. So James Lott Jr., since you're here, yeah. uh, like, what's coming up on the GH Report in 15 minutes? We have some great news on GH Report because ABC and Prospect Park settled everything. We have one to live characters coming to General Hospital. Wow. Very sensitive. We have some news for you guys, some very interesting stuff coming up. You smell sweet. It's sweet vanilla. Oh, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. I was like, why do you, I was like, why does he smell like cake? <laughs> <laughs> cake, cake, cake? Are those cupcakes done out there yet? No, they're still out there. Okay, because she good. was working on those, and I said they're, they're going to be done they're by five thirty. Oh my god, this one. I want a cup I cake. All right, y'all. Well, that is it. Um, oh, and uh, JLJ, before you leave, yes. um, 
Tony Moore now has Lies. a Days of Our Lives Lies. crush. Lies. I do not. I do not On have Billy a crush. Blair. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is what happened, James. Saw, okay, yeah. this, is what, this is what happened, James Lott Jr. So, mm-hmm. wait, you want to? Oh, you're drooling a little. <laughs> uh, wipe so, your, wipe so your drool. This week, yes. Kyler Pettis, who plays Theo, had he's a hot. had a my shirt is off moment. Oh. Yeah. Um, can you pull that picture up again, um, Alexis? Yes, I think. Did he really? Oh. Yes. Uh, so I'm gonna so, start calling Tony. Tony Pettis. It's, it's a, so okay, so <laughs> you know every everyone Ooh, you, oh, right. Oh, oh. So. Yeah. He so he did this oh right, and God. I you know I said we should take a moment and you know recognize oh this. Now because you know I'm the only person that has not had anyone. I've stayed true. neutral. Yeah, you know okay. I'm just a fan with open arms and I'm just like this <laughs> right. And so now, and if Kyler happens to run into those arms, now <laughs> now all, now all of a sudden I was thinking the same thing, Mark. Mark I'm going to start tweeting Kyler as, as Matthew is to Greg. Now they're trying to put Tony. So as we to need, Kyler. Here, basically well, here's what we need to do. You do. We need to have an episode, Tony and Kyler, yes, Greg, yes, and Matthew, and, you and, and me and Billy. You should, but I, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but Kyler, Woo! is... Kyler, yeah, yeah. I am only, okay. Thank you. We're wrapping this up. We gotta go. <laughs> Turn on the going away music. I, like I just this. want to clarify <laughs> that I am only appreciating the moments oh, that Kyler gave Sands us. Sands are out of the hourglass. <laughs> we gotta go. Lady Gaga is gonna be singing. And that has she been is your, already singing. Oh. That has been your week of days. Wrap it up. Lives. Wrap it up. Mark, Lorraine where Love. can they find you? Lorraine Love, gotta go. Bye. And of course, <laughs> me on all social media platforms at Lounger with Tony on my website, loungerwithtony.com. And Peace. of course, you can find James Lott Jr. coming up next on the GH Report. Bye, y'all. Have Bye, y'all. Super Watch, my Sunday. Camera, Watch my camera, girl. Watch my camera. This is Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.